here we are, alive, doing this podcast. Fucking congrats, by the way, man, on the album. It's so good. Like, so, so, so good. Thank you, man. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks what a lot. I wanted to chat about was, um, like, friendship. Because, like, something I think a lot about, and I don't know if you feel the same way, but um, it always really bothers me. And I talked to, like, you know, my friends today about this. So I feel like when I was younger, like, when I was a kid, you know, up through like middle school, probably, or maybe early high school, I felt like my friendships were just like a whole different kind of a vibe than like it is to make friends today. Like I felt like in some ways it was like easier and I could like, I was so much more relaxed to just spend time, like just like fucking around and like, I don't know, being so vulnerable with each other. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like scary and it wasn't a concern. And I sort of feel like nowadays and I don't know if you feel the same way, but that, I don't know, it's, it can be a little bit harder to to make new friends, to open up in that, in that way, that, and to also give yourself the time. Like, I feel like that's one of the things we're talking about, especially when you're so obsessed with being productive. Like, I'm curious if that impacts your, like, your current friendships and your ability to make new friendships, for example. Is that something? Yeah, well, I'm sort of curious before I answered that part, I'm curious where it comes from for you. Like what about it feels more difficult? The friendships now? Yeah. Being able to make new friends. Um, I think just like the consistency of like, like I'll have a kind of candid conversation with somebody where we um, like both open up quite a bit but then like for some reason like i've had so many of those that then like i never return to and it's sort of like it's like these like mm-hmm. friendships are like are, like built on consistency and i feel like you know and like at least in my life when i was younger it's like oh more time bored i'm in school oh there's a few kids i like so we just hang out all the time and like that's what it is and we just hang out all the time and you become so 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 close and now i just feel like and also i feel like for me you know as you get older and older you have more experiences more pain more suffering obviously more good times as well And it's just like, for me, like I have this like feeling of like, I have such a deep craving for like super close connection with people, like super, super, super close intimacy, like in every, you know, like in romantic relationships and friendships. And I think my standard is really high for that. And I find that it's just harder to get to that level for me now because there's so much more to break down and it just takes so much more Mm -hmm. time, I feel like. And then also I feel like, I don't know, even the people I'm really, really close to and like, even it's like people I live with, there's still like this degree of separation that I don't really know how to explain. It's just like not the same as it was when I was a kid and how free I felt and how, like sometimes I find myself feeling, yeah, like even distant from my best friends or something. And I'm like, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. I definitely feel that. I don't think I'm as conscious of it as you are, but I think that that's something that like a lot of people deal with. And I think a lot of people probably just aren't aware of it but everyone's growing and changing all the time, you know? And I think everyone, everyone's so in their heads, like distance could also be like perceived as one-sided, you know? Like you could, you could also be in your head, like, why do I feel so distant? But the other person is like, I'm feeling more connected to this person than ever, you know? Um, That's true. But it's weird. I don't know. I've always had trouble making friends. Like, it's really interesting that you're coming from a place where, you feel like you've never been inhibited in the past in terms of like being able to get really close to people and now you're feeling it's harder. I, it's weird. I feel like it's sort of the opposite for me right now because the way I grew up, it was so, it, I always felt like it was difficult for me to make friends, not because people didn't like me, but I think because I'm just so, it's just really hard for me to warm up to people and to get to know people and to be relaxed around new people whether that's like social anxiety or just being shy. Like I've growing up, I was always the quiet kid. And like in middle school, I found a really great group of friends that just helped me break out of my shell. And I sort of took that energy with me beyond in life and like use the things that I learned with this group of friends to like help me just be a more sociable and being able to like connect with people I didn't know better. Um, And even with like, my career starting to do better you know a lot of what we do is is very centered around social life whether it's like in the music industry or music people or just your friends in general outside of that like 
I don't know. I found that it's it's been easier for me to make friends because it makes it really easier to for me to connect with people when they come in with this warm, friendly energy first. Because it's so hard for me to come in with that energy to somebody that I've never met before. I don't know what their deal is. And I feel like usually when people are coming up to me, whether it's a friend of a friend, they've heard about me like through one of my best friends. And that's like been my favorite way to make new friends is when I am so close with someone and I love them so much as a person and they love this person who I've never met so much in the same way, I just immediately know that we're going to connect in that same way because I have so much trust and respect for this person, you know? That's cool. I need to trust in that more. I'm, I'm, I'm weird. I feel like I'm <laughs> weird about making new friends. It's like if I've heard, like, I don't know, for example, I have a friend, um, hypothetically, like, I have a friend whose best friend from high school grew up across the country and like I've never met them before, but they're always talking about this friend. They're like, oh, my friend, um, blah, 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 whatever the fuck it is. Just because I've heard about them so much from my friend, I feel like I'm getting to know them even without knowing them. And then just the mutual respect thing just makes it, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I feel like it's it's easier for, for me now, but I don't know. It's so hard for me to, even with the friends that I have and the people that are in my life, I for sure feel like a lack of connection a yeah, lot of the do time. You, do you feel like, how many relationships do you feel like you have in your life that you feel like that fully, like you can be literally 100% yourself to the fucking, like not, you don't have to like hide a thing. You don't have to feel embarrassed about a thing. You don't have to feel like you have to impress them. Like just none of it. Like you just feel totally... You know what I mean? Just like totally free. Um, I feel like I have that maybe with like four people. That's amazing though. Which is like pretty good. Like, okay. So just in terms of my, my friendship history, I've always connected with girls more on a, like on a platonic level. Um, and, or just like feminine energy in, in general on a platonic level. And, I always feel like I can be more myself around my friends that are girls because so much of my prior friendships was mostly with guys and it was a very bro -y friendship. And there's so much in that type of friendship that gets swept under the rug and ignored because certain amounts of vulnerability are viewed as not masculine and not masculine is viewed as not good or like, or weak, um, and so like once I was in college and I was having just more open guy to guy friendships and more friendships with women, like, I don't know. I just, I feel more open in those situations where it's not hinged on like masculinity and toughness and, and like shit like that. Cause that's like what alienated me growing up is like this macho man. Like if you're a guy, you have to be this way and you have to be like this fucking I don't know. I know exactly. Um, but yeah, the people that I do feel like I can be open and a hundred percent myself with, I still feel a lack of connection with those people sometimes, a lot of the time. And I've, I've noticed this a lot. Um, just cause I'm always fucking in my head thinking about these sort of things. Um, the way I engage in a relationship or a friendship is so hinged on my mood and how happy or fulfilled I feel in that moment. That moment. This is some real shit. And like, that is where the distance for me comes from. Like I, if I'm FaceTiming with a friend that I really love, but I'm in that moment pissed off because I'm like down about my music or I'm down about like a, something that happened in my life. I'm not going to be as present as I want to be in that moment. And I can't find the energy to be present in that moment. And it's like a, it's like a feedback loop where I'd feel shitty about how I'm not even present. And that makes me feel shittier. And then I'm even less present. <laughs> so, and that shit sucks. But the, and the thing that's really gotten me through like a lot of these feelings is it's honestly what I wrote my song always I'll care about because it's about like just a really true and honest friendship and it's about the other person understanding that you can't always be present and that doesn't affect how you feel about them. That's beautiful. And like my best favorite friends that I feel like I can be myself 100% around are the people 
who understand that I can't always like be there a hundred percent. It has nothing to do with how I feel about them as a person that is completely like internal. Yeah. Oh, there's so many things that just hit me when you were saying that. <laughs> like, cause I, I was struggling with something like that right now where I, I get so sucked into my own life and like the music and everything and my career and always, especially also when you're like, I'm working with my best friend, you know, he's my creative director and like, um, and we live together and, you know, it's like always talking about what the next project's going to be, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like, like everything. And they're in the studio making music and blah, blah, blah. And then we're like freestyling and drinking and whatever. And like, <laughs> and then it's sort of like, I'm so sucked into that, that I forget there's other things. And like, I'm not a super well-rounded person, but my best friend, like he is like super well-rounded and like loves to do a lot of different things. And just Kevin. Yeah. And it becomes this question of like, like I feel what you're saying, but at the same time, I've like, I, we've had some, you know, like confrontations where it's like, um, you like, maybe I'm not showing for my respect and appreciation and my, and my engagement in the friendship, you know? Cause it's like one thing for me to feel like, Oh, I love Kevin and like, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like a lot of it has to be action. And I think that I'm trying to find that balance of like, Oh, like, it's not about me whatsoever today. Like, it's not about what I want to do. It's not, it's, you know, it's like, we're going to chill and like whatever naturally happens, you know, like instead of it always being like this thing I need to control. Um, I think that's an interesting thing in terms of that balance. I don't know. I just have a lot of trouble. Totally. I just have a lot of trouble with it. Something that helps me when I'm feeling that way is obvi the first step is being aware of it. And you sound like you're very aware of it. And I really try to be aware of it, but I feel like, if you look at the situation and you're like, I, why am I so like worried about the way I feel today? I should be putting my energy into this other person. And even being aware of that and not having the energy to do that, sometimes I fucking force it. And like, I, it, it might even like feel like an act sometimes. Like if I'm, and even if it's as simple as asking, how are you doing? Or asking them like a direct question about something that you know that they're dealing with or something in their life that they're excited about because that makes them feel loved and heard. And even if you're forcing that initial action, at least the, the times that I've done that in the past, it has given me more energy just like seeing the positivity and the reaction that comes from that. And then I can start to come from a more genuine place with my affirmations or just conversation, you know? And it feels like I'm literally like forcing it sometimes. And I do that, like, I honestly do this like with my family a lot. Like the same, the same way with my friendships where if I feel shitty, it's really hard for me to connect. It happens with my family all the time. And I always break through it. And I always like force myself to say things that like, I feel like I don't have the energy to say, but I do it anyway, because I know that that's how I feel. And just because I know how happy it makes them. And it's not, even though like I'm forcing it, it's not fake or, or me acting or, or wrong. It's just like me, it's like me, like somehow finding the energy to like get out what I, what I want to say, even though it's really hard to say it. I know what you're saying. It's really abstract, like weird thing. No, you know what? I was actually thinking about this and, and talking with Kevin about this recently. Like I think, um, just like for me personally, like my, my mental state, like also plays such a huge role in my engagement and friendships and relationships and my social, just me being social in general and like reaching out to new people. And like, do you find that you get caught in a feedback loop where you're like you feeling low and shitty is affecting the way that you want, wish you could reach out to people. And then the fact that you're not reaching out makes you feel shittier. Yeah. 100%. Yeah hundred percent and I feel like I'm juggling between so many I think that's maybe the other thing too so when I was younger at it it's like I tried to have so many friends it was like just a few and I feel like I'm in this place where I like try to juggle so many friendships that I've gathered over the years and it's like hard it's just like really hard to do that when you're busy as well and so you split you split the time you know too broadly and then you don't really give enough attention to like really deepen a handful of like the most important relationships to you I guess Totally. I mean, that's spreading yourself too thin a bit. 
I th- yeah, the more relationships you, like, if you try to put your all into maintaining, like, 30 friendships, as opposed to putting your all into maintaining five really important friendships to you, I feel like there's a lot more connection in those five. Yeah. You know? But at the same time, it, it feels so good to be on and, like, having a lot of friends and a lot of people and just feeling connected to people that you might not even know that well. Like something feels so good about that when you're, when you're in that zone, you know? Do you ever find um, that it's almost like in some ways more enjoyable and exciting to like start a bunch of new like relationships, like meet somebody new and like, like vibe. And like, even like, I'm a, I'm like a super open book person. So I'll meet somebody new and like, if 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 it's a vibe like if i don't feel like judged and weird i'll just like open up but i feel like i'll do that and instead of like focusing on the relationships i already have it's almost like this weird like addicting thing addicting to like starting new relationships but not really following through i don't know if you like that at all or 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 no that's really interesting um i don't i'm so weird with with starting relationships and making friends like like I said before, it is really hard for me to open up and connect to people. But I know the feeling that you're talking about, because when it goes well, I'm like, this is so amazing. I I love this person. I feel like you're expanding your horizons by meeting new people. And I don't know, I, I don't, it's just hard. It's really hard for me to, to, to meet people and start new things. And I find that with relationships and friendships. Um, Part of it is like, I'm just in a really weird part of my life socially where I feel like I have one foot in to like the the music creative whole scene and I have one foot in like nor- a normal person my age in Brooklyn's life where, and I love both sides of it in completely different ways. Like me being connected to my home friends here a lot of whom are in the music industry, but it's in a way more like not sceny way. Um, I feel really grounded and I'm with people that I've known my whole life. And it's just like a really, really great energy. And on the other side of it, like all my music friends and just industry hangs or fucking whenever I'm in LA, honestly, it's a completely different energy where I feel like I'm so out of my shell and, and so down to meet new people and having all these new experiences, but I get bogged down by that after a while because it starts to feel superficial. And I don't know, but then at the same time, like with my life here in Brooklyn, it's like, it becomes monotonous and it's like the same every day. And then I'm like, this is boring. I want to fucking like have fun and, and meet new people and go out and try new things. So yeah, it's it's weird. I, I do feel very balanced in that way, but I also feel a little like socially isolated that I can't branch out in the way that I want to. Yeah. Which has honestly been like me my whole life is like, think it's like, it's like the grass is always greener. I want to be like meeting more people and making more memories and stuff like that. I feel that. Um, I feel like, uh, I don't know. Like this is kind of going back to a little bit what we were saying before, but I feel like for some reason it's actually like easier for me to be open with new people than it is sometimes with the people I'm closest to. And that's a weird one for me. It's I think a- that, I think that's totally valid though, you know, because you have so much energy. You have so much more energy in a new friendship or relationship. And like no judgments, you know what I mean. You haven't been through like things together to like, you know what I mean. Like, like all when I I'll project like in older relationships, especially mate for me maintaining older relationships, you know, I moved around a few times growing up and like, there's like this baggage, like, you know, uh, I don't know, like times where I wasn't the best friend or something. And then I just perpetually feel guilty. And I feel like, oh, like I've become, I've become a more in tune person or I've become a better friend or, but I almost feel like I'm not allowed to be with that person because I'm forever feel ashamed for like a moment I had in the past or something. That's is this moment with the same person or with a different person? Yeah, yeah, with the same person. Like, um, it's it's weird. I mean, that's part of that's a whole thing. I mean, that was kind of part of like my whole like OCD um, diagnosis is like I'm very much have like deep obsessions with like 
past and like shame and like feeling like a bad person and like obsessing over like my negative traits and feeling like like i don't know like i'm i'm helpless to them and and Mm -hmm. uh, that deep down that i'm just like that i'm just bad you know that i'm just like not a a good dude and um you're a good dude (laughs) no but i don't know i'm not even really sure where i'm going with that but yeah it's just it's just weird. Like, I feel like I just didn't have all this stuff before. I think I just, when I was younger, I just wasn't so self-aware. So I just didn't think about all this stuff. And I was just like, friends, we, we be friends. We <laughs> do everything together, whatever. Play music together, eat together, like everything. And like, now it's like, I just think so much about interpersonal connections. It's like so much like headier for me now. I'm just like, oh my mm-hmm. God, chill. That's part of getting older though is, becoming more self-aware and like it gets trippy honestly but i I feel like another part of it is like being able to take a step back and like analyze your own self-awareness and being like is this healthy is this serving me in any way is this productive or is this making me feel like shit and i i want to say it's as easy as just deciding not to or trying not to but it's hard because like these are like compulsive these are like habits that we have they're so habitual you know it's just weird how you can be so aware of it and and but also feel so helpless in it you know yeah i mean that's where like for example meditations really come into huge it's just been really helpful for me because that's like i'm learning how to like observe my mind and like retrain and be like oh yeah that's a pattern i don't have to listen to that i can to, you know do a different thing and it's hard because it's like i'm i'm i have such a patterned brain i feel like and like i I'm very hard on myself and very like super need to be in control and like even if that control leads to a negative result you know like even if that control is like oh my friends all want to go to the beach but for some reason i feel like i need control and, and since it wasn't the idea that i had like i don't know if i actually want to go have fun i'm like wait what no no no, 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 no. that makes no that makes no sense like, like let's go hop in the car and go to the beach you know what i mean like i don't know it's so weird it's just like weird and yeah (laughs) how do you you said you you meditate how do you do that like is it you sit down and meditate or is it just being mindful i like i sit down and meditate and i do like very like um kind of a specific thing where i i learned from somebody who was like there for me when i was just in the worst place and um he basically like, the way he taught me it's like you know you start with the kind of classic like sit down close your eyes put your hands out breathe kind of imagine and i do a lot of the thing that's that i love about it is no matter what i speak or or if we do it together even through like facetime either he'll, he'll speak or i'll speak or whatever and guide it and um it, it's like a lot of like just like imagining the things that don't serve you in that moment just falling away and like you know physically relaxing and being in tune with the sensations in your body and your breath and the energy of the room and imagining your heart opening up and like i do like a very spiritual type meditation and then i start mm-hmm. speaking a lot of gratitude and just speaking whatever whatever comes to me so like just like speaking like my love for people and the love i want to send to people and and like you know asking for guidance and i'm not really a religious person but i i like relinquishing control to like a higher source of energy and power and connectedness Mm. you know and there's still a lot more i want to learn about it um but it's yeah i don't know it just really puts me at peace and i find myself my mood is elevated which brings you know me into better whatever personal connection situations and i'm you know better creativity and more thankful and i'm more in the moment um so that helps a lot yeah that sounds really nice yeah how often do you do that I try to do it every day, but I think recently it's probably like four times, three, four times a week, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I briefly got into trying to meditate sometime in college. Um, I would just, I would like try to completely clear my mind and just whatever thoughts come in, just like let them go. And I would probably do it for like 10, 15 minutes. And it really like balanced me, but it, it your, your process sounds way more conscious and like, Sounds like there's a lot more positivity <laughs> involved in that than what I used to do. Dude, I went on this I went on this Buddhist retreat um a year ago to like a a Zen monastery. Like it was like a Zen Buddhism monastery. Um I did it because 
my friend Danny, uh, when he was in college, went a bunch of times and loves it and just preaches all about it. We went for a weekend and it was like one of the worst experiences of my life because like on paper, it seems so good. But at the same time, this, um, it was, it was the sect of Buddhism is called Rinzai, I think. Um, and it was, we meditated for like three hours in a day and we weren't allowed to talk. We ate meals in silence. Basically the whole idea is that everything is so structured that you have, that you have to make zero decisions. So like the whole day is completely structured and there's just intermittent meditation. And for these meditation sessions, you're sitting in like this big, dark wooden room, like 20 feet across from the person across from you and like five feet on either side, people next to you. It's a giant like gymnasium, dark. You're sitting down on a mat cross-legged and like closing your eyes for 30 minutes. Like when you're trying to close your eyes and clear your mind, it time goes so slow if you're not, if you're not used to doing that and i'm like not a practice meditation person and it was fucking hard we'd wake up at like five in the morning they come down the hallways banging pots and pans it was yeah I, it was really tough I, I do not have the patience for that like i find all my joy in life from like doing things and being active and like my my meditative moments like the things that like substitute meditation for me in my life are like sunsets and really special moments with friends and like whether it's just a beautiful day and I'm walking alone listening to music or like listening to a podcast or a book on tape like those moments are the moments that make me feel so happy and thankful to be alive and the are the moments that put everything else in perspective not really the moments where I like try to sit and clear my mind though that does help but yeah no that that's, that trip sounds crazy I mean Obviously, that med- it's like that form of meditation is like it's very intense. And that's such a it's such a thing, but I just find like this it's changed so much for me when I started doing it this way because I used to do it like that kind of like just in pretty straight up way of you know sitting there and just allowing thoughts to pass, but I don't know in this way it's it's so much more like you can do it with people and I do it with like new people and like I've had multiple situations where I do it with somebody new. I open my eyes at the end of the meditation and they're like crying and not like in a bad way, but like they had like a release. And I feel like it brings me closer to new people. And it also brings me closer to myself simultaneously. Um, and it helps me open up and like say loving things like all in a meditation. If I'm meditating with somebody, I'll, I'll be, it'll be easier for me to be like, these are the reasons that I love you as a person. You're so special. Like, you know, it's like hard for me to just say that like in like normal life, like, right, it's hard right. for me to be like, Hey, like, I just wanted to let you know that this, this, this is like what I really respect about you and love, you know, love about you. And, and, and the meditation helps me do that, which is like, I don't know. It just brings me so much joy and, and love. And yeah. So I really like that. Um, it's a nice thing. I love doing it when I, when I hang out with new people. That's a, awesome. Really nice vibe. We should, we should do that sometime. Super down. All right. Sweet, man. Well, thank you so much for chatting and for just like opening up and, and analyzing all that. And yeah is really dope and uh, of course dude thanks for having me this was a really good conversation i thoroughly enjoyed it yeah me as well